Thanks, man. No problem. Whoa. I like how your groomsmen are like more ready than you. Oh. oh. Yeah, you called out one time. So I'll, <laughs> I'll defend you. Um, no, the, thing, him. the thing already boiled, so you just need to um. The dumplings, oh, man. They already you, you have black stuff on your lip. Oh, this is like so nice, though. I think. Look at <laughs> look at this view. Oh, it is nice. Though. Well, it's two cranes down there. <laughs> One, two. And it's supposed to be on here. So much panic. Uh, oh my god, video log. Everybody get in. That's a nice video. Oh my god, super course with you. Nice. This is a, oh, a so how we manage it. No, only certain people. Ben does. No, just what? Uh, yeah, they, they kind of lost their like, flew off the uh, red balcony. <laughs> you had lost your cranes? They flew away. Uh, I gave mine away. I gave mine away. We all lost it. So, wait, you have it all? No. I have one too. I had one. He's the ring boy. They just want to. I just need to be starting here. No, man, you're in the way. Why is mine blue? <laughs> Party begins, sons. Right now. So I didn't even mess up. I don't know. You did? Okay. I did. I'm joking. <laughs> did anybody else cry? Why, why do we <laughs> suck? Fast <laughs> man! Oh, shit. Yeah, man. Oh, God. I hate you. Why, well, you gotta fix I'm it. Dude, that's awful. Why is it called Gomer? Do you think any of the women you marry him? Oh, God. You hey, already yeah. have. Looks like the guy from Arrested Development. <laughs> Oh my, you guys bought it? Oh, is that nasty? Is that nasty stuff. Just don't care so much, man. You have to snap your fingers and clap your pants. I love this guy. I'm not going That big mess. I'm like, look at him like, stop. No photos, please. Go on, Ben. <laughs> Mm. Mm. What? Oh, this guy's not chintzing out on the alcohol. Hey, there we go. Thank you. Babe! You can make a Caesar. There you go. Thank you. One, two, three, smile. It's not video. No? <laughs> and if you were just wondering why we did that, uh, it was just a uh, Michael Jackson thing. Uh, Meneer Jaffer's initials for MJ. Uh, and if you're watching the slideshow, he had a little picture of when he was uh, younger. Uh, he used like do the Michael Jackson pose with the leather jacket. So that's why we wanted to do that. So, and tonight on the dance floor, uh, the real MJ is going to show all the moves and how, how it's done. Yeah. I can't wait for that. Uh, cheers to, uh, to the So Harry, we want to do something creative for you, for once. Something that tells a story of two childhood friends who ended up here. There's nothing much. It was bound to happen at some point. Look at Cumberland. I love how our ballroom wants to put it in. always count on each other. I know that's something that we're going to continue to do as well.
you know, like he was an amazing person. Um, he always taught, taught me a strong work ethic, um, you know, fighting, uh, fighting for what you believe in. And, um, you know, if it wasn't for him, I just believe those strong ethics and morals, and I, I probably attribute that towards uh, me not giving up on the area. <laughs> Well, young Mooney, you know, he's been wishing for this day. <laughs> um, I go back in time, I tell him to stop being such an idiot. Uh, so, you know, yeah, um, leave her alone a bit, you know, and he'll stand me in. He like, she would chase me down, beat me with badminton rackets. Like, grade seven and eight. one time. <laughs> what did I do? I did probably the dumbest thing I could have done. I, I tell her best friend, Jock Rayden, I think I told Charlie to what happens next, Aerie instantly knows, the whole school knows. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible idea. <laughs> so, I'm so sorry. And, uh, <laughs> something kicked in and I accidentally kissed her and I'm like, holy crap, what did I just do? We're friends. Accidentally. Yeah, I was like, so I, I, I was shocked, I'm, I'm sure she was shocked. But, you know, if it wasn't for that, thank you, Crosby. Uh, <laughs> It, it was great because I actually knocked off two things on my bucket list and up climbed Mecca and Majaro and ended up marrying a girl of my dreams. So. And mommy, I know I don't say this enough, but I love you so much. And um, unfortunately, we'll be ending our diets tomorrow, so can you please cook for us again? <laughs> we miss your delicious food. <laughs> you know, we've been really excited and so happy to celebrate this evening with you but um it's kind of bittersweet because um two important people in our lives are missing today and uh that's our fathers um habib jaffer and tushma sakita um they both passed away from different forms of cancer uh over 10 years ago so um as you guys notice all the guys um, all the groomsmen are wearing uh, cancer awareness ribbons in place of boutonnieres. Um, the orange represents leukemia, which um, Muneer's father unfortunately passed from, and the periwinkle represents esophageal cancer, which my father passed away from. Um, and I can't even describe how hard it is to lose someone that close. And unless you lose someone that close to you, it's really hard to describe the feeling. But um, having said that, even though they are no longer with us, um, thanks to you guys, we are no less loved. So you guys are here with us, and you guys are here to celebrate with us, and you guys have been here every step of the way. And we feel so blessed and so lucky that we're surrounded by people who make us laugh every day and who make us feel so loved. And um, if we could just have a moment of silence for Habib Jaffer and Kishima Sakura. Best. 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 You're in the way.